name is Jim Kennedy, and I have Parkinson's disease, but I refuse to let that define me as a person. If you know me or know of me, you may recall that I have an interest in music and exercise and how the two can work together to improve one's Parkinson's symptoms. I have a different tactic I'd like to show you now using the stationary exercise bicycle. This may be of interest to you, particularly if you're looking for an affordable and safe means of exercise that you can do in your own home that will, especially when combined with rhythmic music, improve your Parkinson's symptoms. Come on into our home where it's warmer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We purchased the exercise bicycle for our home to give us a form of exercise that would be good for my wife's bad knees, that wouldn't aggravate my bad back, and that wouldn't require us to return to the gym because we're scared of COVID. I'm not talking about spending a lot of money on a stationary exercise bicycle. This is the one we bought a couple of months ago. It seems well built and it wasn't very difficult to assemble. You want to make sure that you can adjust the resistance on any bike you might consider buying. And it's helpful if it has a backrest. I'm acquainted with some of the scientific principles and facts behind what I'm sharing with you today, and I've consulted with experts in the field, but I'm sure not one of those experts. However, I've understood enough about it to try some things and find out what's worked for me. The underlying scientific principle behind this is the principle of neuroplasticity. This principle has been proved over and over in the research lab and in the clinic. It's what allows a stroke victim with proper therapy to learn to speak again. It's what allows the soldier to regain the use of his arm. And it's what can give a person with Parkinson's disease improved gait, reduced freezing, and increased arm swing. Or even in my case, a reduction in PD medications. Neuroscientists and clinical practitioners have learned over the years that movement can be facilitated by performing those movements in sync with rhythmic music. Other neuroscientists studying the effects of exercise on Parkinson's disease have found that many symptoms of PD can be improved and are delayed with routine vigorous exercise. What we're doing is combining the benefits of the two, music and exercise. The exercise bike, if you're willing to push yourself like I am, has the ability to achieve vigorous exercise. What we're missing with the exercise bike is a good way to keep in sync with the rhythmic music. Here's what I mean about exercise being in sync with the music. Shade. I knew he must have been about 17. Going strong. My the rotations of the pedal wheel correspond to the rhythm of the music. Now here's an example where the music and the bike are not in sync. <laughs> When it comes to determining whether we're exercising on the bike in sync with the music, we're at a disadvantage with the bike. In contrast, the treadmill is easy to keep in sync with the rhythm because we hear audible signals coming from the treadmill when a foot contacts the moving belt. These audible signals can easily be synced with the rhythm of the music. Walking on the pathway is similar. The exercise bike, however, emits almost no sound. Therefore, the input coming from the exercise is essentially zero. We need for the stationary bike exercise to send us some visual signals, maybe make some noise, so that we can keep our pedaling frequency in sync with the tempo of the music. The first thing I tried, because it 
seemed the simplest to me, was a narrow piece of brightly colored cardboard placed so that I could see each rotation of the pedal when it passed over the green line. This gave me a visual signal that helped me stay in sync with the music. But I was still searching for a stronger signal. The most helpful signal by far that I added to the bike was an auditory signal every 360 degree rotation of the left pedal. This cost me around $10, not counting the steps through which we had already. I cut the striker from one of these plastic coat hangers, a whole package of which cost $5. I already had the small cable ties to secure the striker to the pedal. I drilled four small holes in the soft plastic pedal to insert each of the four cable ties. You can use a box or anything to hold your sound maker in place so that the striker strikes the clicker with every rotation of the pedal. I made the clicker from two small metal signs I found at a hardware store for $5. I already had the tape used to secure the clicker to the step stool. So this is what our new addition, the clicker, sounds like when we're exercising on the bike. And here's what it sounds like when we're exercising in sync with the music. One surprise coming out of this design was that it also provides a helpful tactile or sense of feeling signal as well. I can feel through my gym shoes each strike on the bottom of my left foot. This feels like a pretty effective signal. You may have some ideas of your own about how to make some signal generators for the bike. If so, try them out. Let us know how they work and we'll share the ideas with the rest of the group. So we've added to a bike which provided essentially no input to help us sync with the music. One auditory signal, the clicker. One tactile signal, the strike felt on the bottom of the foot and two visual signals, the green line and the striker striking the clicker. This has put us in good shape for getting some neuroplasticity going with the stationary bike and realize Parkinson's symptoms improvement, similar to what we experienced in the gym four years ago. If you decide the stationary bike might work for you, I encourage you to give it a try. If you have some experiences or design ideas you'd like to share, please send them to us and we'll share them with the group in part two of Spinners for Winners. Also in part two, we'll talk about exercise and how it dovetails in with rhythmic music to reduce the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. We'll also talk about what else we can do with the stationary bike to help us. Thanks for watching. And we hope to see you again in part two.